Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here or at Activate Learn on Twitter. It is time for another book review and this time it's going to be a bit difficult simply because I don't even know how to explain this book. The book is Boy Swallows the Universe by Trent Dalton. Have you seen this? I'm sure you have. You've probably read the reviews as well. All the reviews I've read are really positive. Everyone's raving about it. On Goodreads it's kind of like five stars. Everyone's saying it's going to be an Australian classic. But is it? I'm not so sure. I must be one of the very few people who had doubts over this. But um, look, I read the whole book. I went through it and there were times where I was on a high and I loved what I was reading and then other times I'm thinking, God, get on with it, my God. Why didn't they edit most of the story out? Anyway, let me start at the start trying to explain this massive book because it is part memoir part fantasy part i don't even know what else it is it's you have got to read it to try and come up with what you think it might be about anyway boy swallows universe is about two young boys in particular the main character is eli and his older brother august or gus now gus is mute mute he writes words um, using his finger in the air but he's also i guess he can foretell the future in some way. So both of these kids have got kind of special powers. They're kind of special in their own way. But Eli's a good kid. Um, and Eli's trying to find his way in the world, trying to find goodness in the world. Why? Because the boys are surrounded by bad things, um, horrible things, horrible things that we just don't ever want to be surrounded by. Now, when they were younger, they went through a very traumatic incident, which I won't say what it is, and it's made them for what they are. So what happens is Eli and Gus um, are in an environment where they are surrounded by horrible, bad people, ex-cons, um, murderers, drug runners, uh, the whole um, environment uh, set in 80s Brisbane is pretty dodgy to say the least. We're talking about an environment where <clears throat> there's lots of drug use, um, there are Asian drug crime gangs, there's murderers, <clears throat> physical violence, domestic violence, emotional violence, um, trauma. It's pretty bad. It is, it is pretty bad. And a lot of the scenes that you read in here, you go, oh my God, how can they get through it? But Eli is desperately trying to kind of bring himself out of it. And he keeps asking the one constant question to, to the men around him, um, trying to understand where there is goodness. Um, and he keeps asking them, are you a good man? And so effectively what this book is telling us that despite the circumstances, despite the horrible situations that we might place ourselves under or the, the people around us are in, there is still some goodness somewhere in people. Um, throughout this book, um, we're t talking about his, there are situations where uh, his mum goes into the Bogger Road jail for a little while and at one stage we see Eli breaking into the Bogger Road jail to try and give his mum a little bit of courage and hope to just stick with things. Now while she's in prison um, they stay with their father Robert Bell who's also an ex-con and all he does all day is just read a lot of books and smoke a lot of cigarettes. That's all he does in between being pissed as a newt. Um, so we, we, we see the two boys in very difficult circumstances. Now, the other thing is um, his mum, mum's boyfriend, who he loved, his boy, her boyfriend was a drug pusher and they both got into some kind of deal where they undercut one of the worst Asian drug crime lords in Brisbane. And there's a situation there where uh, Lyle goes missing and so you can put one and one together and kind of understand that he's gone missing due to this drug lord getting a hold of him and doing God knows what which you'll find out what happens in here but throughout the story there are little snippets um, that Gus mentions and he writes in the air like this one your end is a dead blue wren and you read it and you go what 
what's going on here? Like, is he foretelling the future? How does this link to the storyline? Um, there is a bit where Eli desperately tries to become and pull himself out of this bad situation by becoming a journalist, but we find out he's not a journalist, he's, kind of, he's a writer because he likes to write in flowery writing. And in actual fact, I saw some of Trent Dalton's, <laughs> um, I guess, uh, his bit in this book because he obviously loves to write and explain things but the prose in this book I must admit I really struggled with and um, I'll give you an example on page 389 he says quote open the window right up full stop lean at and breathe the night air in deep full stop look up at the full moon full stop so he writes in these staccato type sentences throughout the book and it does my head in and I kept thinking why couldn't he just have written I open the window and lean out to breathe the night air deeply something like that and I think what's he trying to say with trying to use these short sentences so it took me about a hundred pages to fully get into the book and even then the the fact that the story was weaving in and out of certain things I thought to myself why didn't the editor cut out some words? Why didn't the editor cut out the situation? Um, but I stuck with it. I stuck with it. Now, whether or not I'm going to rave about this book, I don't know. Look, it's enjoyable. I'm glad I read it. I liked the link in the end. The ending was fantastic and you could kind of see it happening. Um, but I wouldn't call it a classic. Um, and I certainly would say that there, there will be people he, out there who maybe didn't enjoy it, probably, but I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I did stick with it. Now, the other thing I didn't like about this book was the fact that he kept mentioning um, the 80s, um, the 80s life, um, you know, brands. Okay, I'll give you another example. The pens. Remember the Kilometrico pens? I had a Kilometrico pen. I was a child of the 80s. Pretty much everything that I, that was mentioned in here, I got, I understood. I even understood the some of the difficult characters given that I grew up in um, pubs around Melbourne. So I saw my fair share of dodgy characters. Um, you know, it mentioned things like the Fosse's fashion store. And I, I wondered to myself that maybe the, the people who really loved this book were possibly Australians who could connect with the 80s or Brisbane or the type of environment that Trent Dalton talks about here. But um, even that, even that, given a, that I was from the 80s and I also grew up in some kind of hairy situations I still couldn't connect with this book and I think it was because of the prose but like I said I am glad that I read this book I'm glad that I know what it's about I'm glad I know what this little message is about and in a kind of weird way today I have to tell you the story actually no I can't well I can okay, tell you a bird flew into our window and it died Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Read Boy Swallows Universe. I'd be interested to know how you found out. If you're not Australian, how did you find reading this book? Um, he's got a second book out. And uh, yeah, I might read it. I might not. I'll read it.